بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay now in this video we'll try to understand the different devices used in the wireless lan so if you remember in the previous sections we have discussed the different types of wireless networks now in that the wireless lan is something what we are going to focus more uh, in our courses okay so the wireless lan already we have discussed uh, it's like interconnection of your devices within your building within your campus within your office such as school home or any computer laboratory and the normal distance it can support up to around on the average around 100 meters now again within that area as long as you are within that coverage area where the wireless device is going to radiate the signals now you can you can be a part of the network even if you are moving within the coverage area so just like you can take an example of your uh, normal home home wireless or a wifi connection where you have your own connect devices connected uh, in general of course you do provide some high speed data communication uh, depends upon mbps depends upon the standards like from 2 mbps to 54 mbps or up to 400 mbps depending upon what standards and the wireless devices you are using Now the modern wireless lan is again uh, you can generally call with a name as uh, wifi again and these are all ieee is something ratified the standards we'll talk about ieee in the next sections later on in detail now let's try to see the different devices used now one of the important device you will find on the wireless devices is your nic card like if you're using any any laptop or or if you take any any device like your mobile phones so probably they need to have an integrated nic card which is going to allow you to connect right so so basically any any device you connect whether it is a laptop or any device so that has to be connected to the wireless network so they do have some antenna uh, maybe inbuilt inside the motherboard generally in your in your phones as well which is going to radiate the signal and it's going to connect to the wireless network or uh, whatever the wireless network you have okay so if you are using the pcs you can add some additional external nic card on the specific slots and again if you are using some laptops or your smartphones so basically they do have the inbuilt or integrated nic on their on their chips or motherboards now nowadays like even if you are using some kind of ip phones or uh, even the printers they do have they do support the wireless features where you can use them to connect to the network without using a wire now again the platforms will vary so so basically the end devices should support the wireless uh, wireless options or wireless nic so that they can be a part of the network now apart from the end devices you also need something called access points Now the access points will provide a centralized location where you can connect all the devices without a wire. Just like we use a switch, similar way access point uh, have something like again the built-in antenna, which is going to radiate the signals within that coverage area. As long as your devices are in that coverage area, they can be a part of the network. And additionally, this access point can also allow you to connect your wireless users. to be connected to the wide network and they can share the information through the access point as well so more like a job of a switch and also act as an intermediate to provide the connectivity to your uh, to your wide network as well okay so you can connect to the wide network as well like general examples you'll find of the wireless internet access where you'll find any of the coffee shops airports or even the train stations or even at your home that is one simple example where you will have a router probably the the wireless access point of course the router which you use it has a built in access point and a physical interfaces to connect in the lan and also uh, one port goes to the internet or wan connection or the wan port or uh, generally we call it as a broadband router or you can have a dedicated access point as well now the next device is uh, generally you will find this in the corporate networks we call it as a wireless lan controllers wlcs now this wlc is responsible for managing multiple access points like typically if you take a big 
bigger network like any airports or shopping malls. So the it's going to cover a very large area. So which means you need to provide a wireless access to the users uh, spread over acres. So it's a very uh, large area. So you'll be installing some access points. Maybe if you take an example of um, of an airport or any malls, so maybe hundreds of access points you have. So going to each and every access point and managing it's going to be very difficult. So we can do that from a single centralized place. So we can manage and push the configurations and the policies, everything from a single centralized place called WLC, because the wireless LAN controllers. So the wireless LAN controllers are the device which is going to control the multiple access points and the access points which are under this uh, running with WLC, we call them as lightweight access points. We'll talk about this a little bit in the architecture uh, concepts. So if you have a large number of access points which has to be managed by the administrator. Like I said, the examples are like airports or the shopping malls are the common example or even your company network where you have around three, four buildings and a big campus where you want to provide the Wi-Fi or the wireless connectivity to the users.